Good morning children. Today we shall learn about the plant nutrition. We already know that the green plants can make their own food by the photosynthesis process. So what is photosynthesis process? The green plants contain the chlorophyll. The chlorophyll traps the solar energy. It uses this energy to produce glucose, a sugar, through the chemical reaction between the carbon dioxide and water taken from the nature. This is the process we call photosynthesis. So the green plants can make their own food by the photosynthesis process. But all the plants are not green. For example, the fungus is not green. So how do they make food? On the other hand, Pitcher plant is green and can make its own food but still it sets the trap in its leaf to catch the insect. It has a pitcher like structure with a lid at the end of the leaf. When some insect lands inside the pitcher, the lid of the pitcher gets closed and then the insect gets digested inside. The pitcher plant is green so it can perform the photosynthesis. Then, why does it catch insect? The pitcher plant generally catches the insects to fulfill the need of the minerals which is scarce in the soil where it grows. Generally, the insect fulfills its need of minerals like the nitrogen. The Venus flytrap also traps the insects. In the Venus flytrap, the lamina is divided into two parts which join to the midrib. The midrib acts like a hinge. So when the insect sits on the leaf, the two parts come together to trap the insect. Sundew, bladderworts, etc. plants are also the plants which eat insects. You may have heard that we need food for nutrition. So what is nutrition? Living things need food for energy, growth, etc. We can say the nutrition is a process of obtaining food necessary for health, energy and growth. The green plants make their own food for the nutrition through the photosynthesis. But some plants don't have chlorophyll so they cannot perform the photosynthesis process. They depend on others for food. If you leave a bread in the dark moist place for 2-3 days, you would find white or colorful patches growing on it. These are plants too. They are called fungi. The fungus lives on the rotting substances. There are few plants which grow on the other plants. The same way the lice live and grow on our head. The lice suck blood from the host body. Same way the plants which grows on other plants like the dodder, rafflesia, etc. absorb the nutrients from the host's body. The dodder plant covers the woody plants and absorbs the nutrients from the host. So the host suffers some damages during this. Then there is the mistletoe plant. The mistletoe has green leaves so it can perform photosynthesis. But the mistletoe grows on other plants and absorbs the minerals water from the host. You know, sometimes two different kinds of plant live together and help each other in nutrition and other processes. Like in the case of lichen, it is an association of the fungus and the green algae. The green algae makes the food and it gives it to the fungus. The fungus on the other hand and provides the water, minerals, etc. So this association is beneficial to both of them, the fungus and the algae. So we saw many different ways on how different plants acquire substances for their nutrition. Let us revisit them in short. Most of the green plants make their own food. So they don't depend on other organisms for the nutrients. This is autotrophic nutrition. The organisms which don't rely on others for food are called autotrophs. Auto means self and troph means nutrition. So 
the word autotrophs many plants also depend on other organisms for the food nutrients this is heterotrophic nutrition hetero means other and troph means nutrition so the organisms which have heterotrophic nutrition are called heterotrophs many heterotrophs like the fungus takes the nutrients from the rotting substances it is called saprophytic nutrition sapro means rotting and phyton means plant so a fungus is a saprophyte few plants grow on other plants and absorb the nutrients from the host like the dodder mistletoe etc they are called parasites and they harm the host but a parasitic plant very rarely or never kills its host sometimes two different plants depend on each other for nutrition and live in the association like the lichen as we saw earlier this relation between two plants is called symbiosis so the nutrition is called symbiotic nutrition and lastly as we saw few plants like the pitcher plant venus flytrap etc eat insects to fulfill necessity of the minerals they are insectivores and this type of nutrition is called insectivorous so in a nutshell in the autotrophic nutrition plants is not dependent on others for food it makes its own food in heterotrophic nutrition plant depends on others for food like in case of saprophytic it depends on rotten substances in case of parasitic nutrition the parasitic plant absorbs the nutrients from the host in the symbiotic nutrition two different plants depend on each other and in case of insectivorous nutrition the plant eats insects for its nutrients for example the venus flytrap so that was all about the plant nutrition bye bye children